Oh, regret. Somebody's regretful and trying to figure out their next move. Spell work. Okay. Someone's, what is this? Someone wants to rebuild your trust or earn your trust back because they know that you don't trust them. Hmm. You have some type of complicated relationship with this person. It, it seems like this person doesn't have any feelings for you, but they do a really good job of hiding their feelings. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Why is this person in regret? What's regret here for? They either regret not fighting for you harder or they regret that there was a lot of turmoil during your relationship. They wanted to undo some type of damage. What about passion? Why do they regret that? Not budging. I feel like this person just, they have a lot of passion for you. And, um, hmm. But they've been refusing to change. What's passion mean for this person? See? Full of turbulence. Yeah. What about, what's that with passion? <laughs> this person is craving you. They want you so bad, but they, you guys are not on good terms right now. Or like, yeah, it's like they, there's no one else that they want. What's main lady mean for my twin flames? What about money is tight? Love bomber. Hmm. Maybe this person thought this was just a break. Hmm. Tell me more about what, why this person's in regret about my twin flames. What about, they, they feel like you guys could have been a power couple. I feel like this person's not doing well without you. Like they're, they're not very stable, but they chose to, they didn't really refuse to commit. They maybe thought the grass was greener on the other side. Um, what about single and intimidated by you? They feel intimidated by you. Hmm. Tell me about strategy. See, there's a there's that energy. This person's trying to feel like feel like, oh, I can't even talk. If this person is intimidated by you, they're trying to figure out how to come towards you or have the work of the courage to come towards you. Planning their next move. Tell me more about beauty. Cut out. Oh, you guys cut this person off. They're intimidated by you because you cut also, first of all, because you guys are attractive. They find you very attractive. They're very passionate about you. Um, you guys also cut this person off. Or some time are cut out. What about divine intervention? Home. What about home? And inner knowing that what? There's like this energy of missing. It's like you guys cut this person off, but you guys maybe also know that this person hasn't moved on from you and that they miss you. They want to return. Angels are helping. Trust the divine plan. Believe in miracles. I feel like this person's not going to be able to move on from you. They still see you guys being this, this power couple. All right, tell me about what this power manipulate outcome. What is the shock? What's the shocking event? A new cycle. You guys are about to manifest some type of new cycle. And I don't even, so you guys have been manifesting it, but you guys are not even going to expect it when it comes in. Some type of new beginning, an end of a cycle. Making a fresh start. It, it, it's almost like something kind of maybe ended between you and this person. And when it ended, like you guys maybe asked the divine for something specific. And I feel like maybe the divine ended something or ended anything that was not in alignment. Like some things came to an end in your life and you didn't even realize it was because those things are maybe blocking you from what it was that you were hoping and wishing for and which were manifesting. All right. But I feel like maybe... Something had to come to an end. This person's watching you. This person still feels like you guys have a future together. Like they, 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 they still feel like you guys are going to end up together. Tell me more, you just have something coming in that you've manifested. And when it comes in, it's still going to be a surprise for you. Like you guys are maybe even, you're maybe not even consciously manifesting this. How are they bringing this in, this new cycle? Let's bring in this new cycle in. There's someone better, a new love interest, letting go of exes. It's because you're starting to let this person go. Tell me more about that. 
Yeah, you started setting boundaries and now you have a lot of abundance coming in. You maybe started focusing on your finances, your career. You stopped letting this person use you. You started help, setting healthy boundaries. No, you stopped enabling this person. And now what's manifesting for you? This person's jealous. Look at this. Want you to themselves. Attachment, fear of losing you. Yeah. Tell me more. Too many cards. Yeah, there's divine timing at play. Tell me more about jealousy. See, what about vacation? Not budging. See, what about, but what's the thing? Foolish. They were playing games with you guys. I don't know. They, I feel like for some of you, so for some of them, they thought this was just a break. For some of you, this is maybe somebody that lives at a distance for you. But what I'm more so getting is that this person thought this was a, like, they thought this was just a break. They didn't think you were going to be like, stand your ground and, huh. They weren't taking you seriously. Yeah, I feel like this person wasn't taking you seriously and now you're standing your ground. And it says, no one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. What does that have to do with this person? Look, yep, exactly. They know that nobody compares to you. They know that they won't find another you. You are the first person that they feel like they've ever truly loved. So yeah, they're coming in with these extravagant gestures. Gestures from the heart, walking the talk, making it up to you, okay? Um, what's this friendship energy or what is it? They, I feel like they want to earn your trust because they know that you don't trust them. What about Star? What's, what are they trying to spotlight? But what's this for, what's the friendship energy? What's the friendship energy? Why is that here? Delusion about... Hmm. Money is tight. Taking a risk. I don't know, guys. I feel like... They want to heal this. But I feel like you guys are going to be kind of indecisive about them or unsure of what you should do or unsure of this relationship. Mm -hmm, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like you guys are focusing on yourselves. And what's this risk? What's the risk? Third, what about third party? See, what is this about? Habitual liar? So what now? You guys, I feel like you're being... You don't trust this person. Mm -mm. You don't trust them. So it's like you're making yourself a priority. You feel like it's risky. Like it would require like a leap of faith or taking a risk in your eyes, like maybe getting involved with this person again. They're wanting to come in and build your trust, but you're thinking about, you have fears here or worries. You're, this person maybe had a third party or there was something interfering on your connection. You feel like this person has lied to you a lot. You feel like they're toxic, low vibrational. You don't know if this person, you don't feel like they're quite good for you. Maybe like you did before. Tell me more about this person's actions towards my twin flames. Yeah, you got to stop talking to them. Yup. Oh, wait, no. What is this about? What does ghosting mean for this person? Not for you. Twin flame, okay? Right? They, you, there could have been communication that ended between you and this person, but they're still not over you. They're still, I feel like it's hard to stay away from you. They still feel this intense connection to you. They're trying to get their life together. So for some of you, they're married and they're trying to get a divorce. What is that classic energy? They didn't take you for, they've been taking you for granted. There's been an unequal give and take. They didn't appreciate you. So what's this mean about what they're going to do? See, so yeah, all around them. Can't escape connection, telepathic experiences. Experiences, your love haunts them. Anything else? Happiness. Feeling blessed and grateful. They're starting to be, feel a, little, a lot more great, like, they didn't see your value, but I see this energy of them starting to see your value. Taking this more seriously or wanting to take this more seriously. Yeah, getting clear on what they want or what, what the right decision for them is. Why are they starting to get this clarity? I don't know. They're going through financial issues. Uh-oh. What are they? What's, what's happening that's making this? Yeah, they see a future with you, but why? Why is that? I think they think you're just leaving them behind. They're having a shift in perspective, but I don't know. Spirit's not telling me why. It's like when they feel like they can't have you. 
something about them feeling like they can't have you anymore. It says a love that grows, but time needs time to grow. Yep, true love. Let's see, what about string along though? I don't know. I feel like this person has known for a while. They've known for a while that there was something significant between the two of you. And that's why they've been trying to hold on to you. But now this person's about to reach out to you because they really feel like they're about to move, like lose you. Yeah, they feel like you are a wish come true. They've never really expressed, maybe having, they've never really expressed to you like the depth of their feelings for you. They've been hiding this from you. Finality. Yeah, they think you're really done with them this time. Yeah, they're getting some type of clarity here that they want something more solid with you. Secure, stability. They're coming in with a love offer. So you guys had to put your foot down with this person. And when you put your foot down and they thought that they were really losing you, here they come. into the tarot i'm gonna few, pull a few more oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot tell me more about what's going why this what's what's triggering this person to, they're in all this regret they're trying to figure out how to come towards you they want something more solid and stable with you i see the ghost it's because they know that it's they feel like it's really over this time you guys are really standing your ground with them and i don't know they're probably not used to this and they thought that they were not taking you seriously. You guys maybe cut off communication with them. And they just, and maybe this is, maybe it's because it's something that you've done before, okay? You cut off communication with this person, right? And then they just thought that, you know, you'd be back, right? And then, yeah, adulting. They need to get their life together. They need to like, yeah. Hold on, this is too many. Thirsty, they want some attention from you. Desperate, horny, too eager, needing validation. Maybe it was the way that this person came towards you too, or you just know this person. This is the way that they usually come towards you. They need your validation. You've caught on to them and it says, leave the situation or person. It's time to leave it all behind. Leaving fast, wrap it up. You're dealing with a love bomber. This person comes in and loves bombing you. That's why this person's coming in and saying all this to you and you don't trust it because you think that this is just them manipulating you again. Yeah, see, searching for the meaning in life, discovering the magic around you, manifestation, the spirit realm. Yep, that ghosted card just keeps wanting to, show, wanting to show itself to me. Whatever you had is over, left confused and wondering, disappearing act, no closure. Yeah. What about extra? Uh, intentionally upsetting you, trying to get a reaction. They did something unnecessary or something stupid that they shouldn't have done. They try to do something to get a reaction out of you, I think. And I think you guys are like, I'm out. Yeah, and it didn't have the same effect on you like it used to. Yeah, because you've been working on yourself and you're breaking out of those old habits. And I think this person is really surprised by this and they feel stupid. Yeah, shaking my head, no words can do it justice. Disappointment, stupid move. Yeah, they, and now you didn't block this person or you deleted them or something. They maybe listen to some some stupid advice. What about sipping tea? Yeah. Um. I don't know. I just see this person trying to. What does it have to do with this person? They're just stuck. You know, they're refusing to change. They're refusing to change. They're stuck. They're very close minded. They're they're have outdated view viewpoints and ways of thinking and now they're having this fear of missing out on you feeling pressured because i feel like this person tried to get get to you in a manipulative way and you didn't even give them the same attention that you used to or you kept them waiting like it's something about you you're not dealing with this anymore 
you dismiss this person. It's like their manipulation. You 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 successfully didn't fall for the manipulation this time. Yeah, and you did a good job, Spirit says, and they're salty. It says a relationship situation is dying. Conversation went dead, can't resurrect, lost interest. Yeah, and it says they're salty. Sudden change of mood, feeling someone did you wrong, upset, bitter, annoyed, jealous. Yup. If they would have came towards you and just been completely open and honest with you instead of doing something passive, aggressive, or whatever they did, I feel like you guys would have taken maybe you would have maybe taken to that better but you they came towards you in a manipulative way or a passive way um something about the way that they came towards you you didn't like and it really i think feel like showed you that this person hadn't changed they hadn't grown they hadn't evolved and um oh goodness so this is something that has yet to happen and you're just not going for it okay so tell me more Yep, the emperor in reverse. They feel like they're losing control over you. Yeah, excessive control and flexibility. They're still like not wanting, they're still trying to resist change. They're immature. Um, they like to have the control and the power. They have said their ego is so big, but I feel like they're losing that control and that power. Could be dealing with an Aries. We have, they're just very resistant to change, guys. They're trying to figure out what to do, but they're also taking their time because they don't really, they're not really ready to make the changes that they need to. They know what they need to do. You know, spell work. Yeah, you're manifesting some type of commitment. Yeah, you're manifesting a marriage, a commitment, some type of committed relationship. Talk about friendship. See, what is this about? Yeah, you've given up on trying to build something with this person. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles and yeah, two of Swords Rivers. What about two of Swords Rivers? It's just like something's not moving forward right now. Something is stuck. I feel like you guys aren't investing anymore into this person. What does it mean for this person they've been dealing with? They're feeling very insecure right now. Ne yeah, they're needy. And it's like needy, victim mentality, insecure energy. Tell me, tell me more. It is so, they need to free themselves from thinking that way. They need to free themselves from their... That's what's blocking this, guys. This person is so insecure and like so egotistical. And they need to free themselves from that mindset and come into a new awareness. They need to release that way of thinking. Mm-mm. What does this mean for my collective? Yeah, with the spirit telling you to walk away. Walk away. Walk away from the manipulation. Walk away from the unfulfilled potential. This person's in and out, wishy-washy energy, the deception, the illusion. Walk away from it. You know what I mean? Let it go. Yep. Set boundaries. Be very clear and assertive with this person. And it's going to lead to a lot of change, Spirit is saying. Some type of sudden change, upheaval, revelation, awakening, destruction of old foundations. So, yeah, it's like for you guys to build a foundation together, they're going to have some type of dis foundation in their life. Your life is going to have to be destructed. All right. Um, because someone feels like they're missing an opportunity. What's this shift? What's this shift? The page of swords. Someone's learning a lesson here. Any more? The devil in reverse, see? Leaving abusive, toxic situation, detachment. Yeah, they're getting into alignment, guys. They're starting to see something clear, clearly. Alignment, clarity, illusion ends. And they're going to come out of like, they're going to come out of, um. what about the king of pentacles in reverse? So we have Taurus energy here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Cancer. Maybe they're leaving they're leaving something behind. A third what's this three of cups in reverse? They're freeing themselves from something. Yeah, they could maybe be leaving another situation. What's this mean for the collective? Some type of wish fulfillment. Yeah. There's a wish fulfillment coming in here. 
Ooh, someone's leaving a marriage behind or a living situation or something. A commitment. What is that? Yeah, this person was in something else. There's something else that they're leaving behind. And it's like giving them some type of enlightenment. Hmm. That you're the empress and that they were careless with the empress. Yep. Or the emperor. Hmm. They're walk I don't know, guys. It's either they're walking, they're coming, they can be walking away from like a way of thinking. What are they walking away from? Is this another person? They just have been refusing to close out a cycle. What is the cycle though? It's just their way of thinking. Like, no, what is this Ten of Cups? Straight, straight to what? Hmm. They're letting go of something that's blocking them from having the Ten of Cups. It's like they're they're having the strength to close out a cycle that's been blocking their happiness. They're letting something go. What is it that they're letting go of though? What are they letting go of? Maybe they've been they're dependent on somebody else. Maybe a codependent relationship or like they're, it's their insecurities, guys. It's them not knowing their own worth. I can't make it up. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm telling you guys, this person has major insecurities. Clarify the Empress in reverse. I feel like this person feels like they're, they're coming back. They're maybe like needing to get their finances in order too. Maybe they were financially dependent on a, a person that was toxic. You know what I mean? Like I feel like they're maybe financially dependent on a toxic person or a toxic situation. They've been holding on to a dynamic or a situation because of money and finances possibly. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, somebody's been being like, salt like, well, who is this greedy person? I don't know, guys. They just are super insecure. We're going to take a deeper look at this in the